My first myth asked if it's actually true that back in 66, Pete Townsend was going to leave The Who to join Dave D's band. So I think this one came about thanks to Quentin Tarantino and the segment he did in the movie Death Proof. I'm pretty sure that's where this one comes from. We all know Dave D because the track Hold Tight really sounds like nothing else that was being done at the time. And for some reason, a lot of people think Pete Townsend was playing on it, but he wasn't. Nor to be honest, did he even think twice about leaving The Who at any time, especially in 1966. I mean, between December of 65 and January of 67, which is basically 1966 as a whole, The Who had five top five singles and most of them were their biggest singles. They were quickly becoming one of the biggest bands on the planet and Pete basically had complete creative control over that. I mean, almost all of their big songs earlier in their career were written entirely by Pete. It was absolutely his band. So he really had no reason to want to leave The Who and outside of the Tarantino story, it's really never come up anywhere else in history. This one's total myth. My second myth asked if Easy es death was in some way related to murder. I actually got this one a few times over the past few weeks and maybe it's because the trailers come out for the new NWA biography and a lot of people are suddenly interested again in NWA and everything that went on after and all the beef and stuff like that. I'm not really sure why, but the bottom line is this is total myth. The Easy e death is pretty cut and dry. Easy e died of complications from AIDS, but there are some people out there who claim that either Suge Knight or Jerry Heller injected him or somehow got him infected with blood that was infected with HIV. However, Easy e was very open about having lived a very promiscuous life. He had a ton of children with a ton of different women. And being realistic, he himself even admitted that he contracted the virus due to his own lifestyle. The conspiracy theories about some sort of slow murder is nothing more than that. Easy e died of complications from AIDS, plain and simple. My last myth asked if it's true that Jimi Hendrix composed the track Little Wing in just three minutes. This is one of the many great Hendrix stories as the guy could write songs, he could write them fast, and they were great songs. However, the blueprints for Little Wing actually appear a number of years earlier when Jimi Hendrix recorded a song called My Girl She's a Fox with the group The Icemen. He took that blueprint and influences from the next few years and he kind of brought them together over that time period and they ended up turning into Little Wing. It's a very cool idea to think that Little Wing was written so fast, but this one was actually a number of years in process. So those are my myths for this week. Be sure to check back here every Friday as I delve into some of the coolest stories in music history. If you've got a story you want me to check out, you can email it to me at thedailyguru at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook right here, and I'll see you guys again next time. <laughs>